Hello, gentlemen. Slava Ukraini. My name is Andrei. I'm a founder of UkrainianPassport.com. In this video, I would like to tell you about the tendencies, about the latest uh, fraud uh, cases we deal with, about uh, dating scammers, uh, the uh, trends during the uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. My purpose is to tell you this information is quite important uh, because what is disgusting is that some people use the topic of war and this fear and all these bad things that happen, all these terrible things that happen during the war to uh, deceive men and to lure money saying they're refugees they need to uh, flee and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use a few emails uh, from a scammer uh, to explain you the whole thing uh, using a real example of how the lady acts saying she's currently in Lugansk and everything is in fire and she uh, needs to go uh, to Lviv to flee the war to the Polish border or to Poland as soon as possible because bombs are everywhere. Because this is probably the most uh, popular trend. Uh, so let's start. Uh, first, she's saying that, hello, my dear friend, uh, this is my letter in short to check if internet connection is going well. Yeah, this is important. She's telling that my name is Olena. Uh, I'm divorced and single now and I'm looking for a beloved man for a special Nobel night to build a strong love in relations. Please reply me soon if you are interested in me and tell me about you and your life. Maybe we are two same lucky people who have a destiny to meet each other in this big world and to have the strong beautiful love to build a beautiful love fairy tale. I am like a little girl who is dreaming about her special noble knight who will bring me to his castle. So let's communicate. What a nice intro. You see the image of a little girl. Uh, she will sit on your knees and you will be her noble knight. Wow. And after this nitro, mm, She's telling, okay, I'm ready to tell you everything about me. Everything about her. The next paragraph. You want to have video chat or Skype talk, but I do not have a laptop and my smartphone is so broken, so it's useless at all. So you were ready to hear the story about her, but she starts from no smartphone, a broken smartphone and laptop. So get ready to pay at least the smartphone. Uh, the funny thing is that she's saying it's broken, but uh, she keeps texting on it. Supernatural. Uh, and now the topic of war begins. I'm not safe because I live in war in Ukraine now. Yes, you can offer me the calm, safe place life but the most important thing for me is your inner world i do not have international passport but i can receive it in ukraine so she lives in ukraine and she wants to receive it in ukraine yeah and of course i will be very good to move to the safe place and out of the war here in lugansk region for example i can move close to the polish border to receive international passport and tourist visa then to come to poland and to fly to you by the way this client he's uh, he's american so she is trying to convince him uh to flee the war she has to move to the western ukraine to lviv uh, receive their passport and uh, tourist visa. In fact, it's ridiculous, and let me explain why. Uh, we have to say big thank to uh, Polish government, to Polish people, because uh, they allow Ukrainian refugees to cross the border without this passport for travel. Some people were uh, allowed to cross the border 
without uh, this document at all, only with the ID of or with uh, the um, uh, Ukrainian citizen's passport. So minimum documents you need to, to, to cross the border. And of course, you, <laughs> there is no chance to get any visa in Lviv because this is ridiculous. There is no consulate in Lviv and they, they don't issue visas in this time. It's a special, special occasion, let's call it like this. Uh, besides of that, uh, this Olena, this is how she calls herself, uh, sent gorgeous pictures to this man and uh, it's hard to believe such a gorgeous girl of course the pictures are stolen <laughs> such a gorgeous girl has no passport for travel it's ridiculous next is she's telling uh, the victim about the terror of war She's saying all Ukraine is in fire and all men are mobilized for the war. So only old men drive buses and they don't drive for free. Uh, to be able to go from Belo to the Polish border by bus, it is needed to pay $500 for every person. It's a pity I do not have these funds. <sighs> yeah, it's really pity. Um, the most important thing is that not all Ukraine is in fire. Uh, I think the bigger part of Ukraine is a safe place now, relatively safe, of course, but minimum is Western Ukraine. It is like where we are based. It's 95% safe. You feel very safe here, by the way. So, um, the scammer is trying to create an image where it's a terror, everything is in fire, and you have to help her to, to leave the country as soon as possible. And of course, uh, using this uh, terrifying image, she is uh, calculating money, which you have to send her as soon as possible to, uh, to let her survive, to save your... A beautiful girl and you will be her knight uh, next a little bit uh, zombie apocalypse get ready many people were without work because of the war and to tell the truth it was very hard for me to find a work here i was taken to work in salon instead of the other worker who died because of corona and people told me that I was lucky to find a work at all. Now you see what does a lucky person is. Uh, next more lie about her ex. My ex took away my laptop when I left him in a hurry. He also broke my smartphone. So the screen of it is crushed. So it is impossible to use it impossible but she uses it uh, sometimes it is possible to call by it to receive calls but only sometimes i have found an internet cafe here oh this is so so interesting story about internet cafes mm. there's another video on this channel where i explain that internet cafes in ukraine they don't longer exist like dinosaurs we have a fast internet we have good cheap smartphones so it's it's bullshit forget about that once you hear internet cafe adios uh, one hilarious thing why internet cafe is so expensive you you have to 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 know that she explained me that internet is so expensive here because everything is ruined here and nothing works here. Battles are going here in different places. So the internet line is damaged with battles and is being fixed almost daily. I guess Elon Musk is crying hearing these uh, words. Yeah, that's... Uh, imagine she's sitting in Lugan somewhere bombs are from here from there and then uh, workers of internet company comes with the spades and they start fixing the internet that is why it is so expensive 
uh, more about war in Lugansk. You watch the news yourself and you see that the war is going in all Ukraine now, which is not truth. The life is going very hard and dangerous. I and my parents sit in the basement almost all time and everybody pray the peace is going here. So uh, kind of suicidal tendencies of this lady and all her nice family. So 80 plus days of war and I'm filming this video on uh, the end of uh, May 2022. So all the time she's sitting in the basement with her parents. People who have funds already left the war, the war region and Ukraine and came to Poland, but I and my parents are without funds, so we are just sitting in basement and waiting what will be further. Sit and wait. What a nice recipe. I can move to Polish border, so yes, it can be Lviv. There I will receive international passport and tourist visa, then to come to Poland and I will fly to you from there. So for now, I need 500 bucks for my trip to Lviv. Perfect. Now, another funny thing. This is probably the last. Uh, being in Lugansk, being in war since 2014 and then 80 plus days of Russia's invasion. She has all, uh, all possible and impossible ways to receive money from you. The money transfer system you can use to send funds for me. PayPal, Western Union, MoneyGram, RIA, Intel Express, MIST, WISE, bank account, PaySend, and even cryptocurrency USDT. And I will give you the exact information how to send the funds. Perfect business approach. At the end, this lying bitch is telling all people are crying now and everybody does not see the future. I hope that the peace will come here soon. Pray for us, my honey. Uh, gentlemen, uh, resuming all the above, uh, our recipe remains the same. You have to be patient. You have to be careful. You have to analyze everything she says and writes to you and verify the girls. Uh, remember to uh, switch your uh, ratio, not only emotions, and yeah, verify them. Despite of the war, uh, scammers remains remain scammers. They still uh, lure money out of the victims, and what is really disgusting that they use the, the topic of war. Um, you can always count on us. We have the necessary experience, uh, knowledge, tools to verify uh, people from Ukraine. If you need help, order our services. Uh, we will do our best to uh, verify uh, your uh, candidate. Despite of all that, Slava Ukraini and everything is going to be fine. I hope this video was useful for you and see you next time.